So we will do a different uh, sequence of protocol today. Uh, are there any questions regarding what we already seen uh, uh, on Wednesday? No? Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, uh, so. Actually, I have a question because the other day you said um, you chose some points. Yes. So are some more important than others, or why do you choose this particular one? Uh, well, the best way I can uh, explain that is that, for example, uh, at one point, uh, Patty was working with Mary, and uh, they, they uh, asked me about uh, the points on the lateral side of the scapula. And uh, while I was trying to explain how I, I supposed to do it, I realized afterwards that usually what happens, you realize of your mistake after they uh, take place. Uh, because they were working facing the client, meaning that the head of the client was here and they was doing like this and they were trying to press and I was trying to explain how the level of pressure was. And, uh, uh, so if we take that into account, my explanation was okay. But that was not what I did. Why? Because when I'm working facing the head of uh, the client, I work on the other side of the scapula meaning I work on the, the medial side. This, I don't do this, yeah, here. To work here, I do it when I face the feet of the client and I expose the area. So that to me gives give him better leverage, yeah? If I do this, of course, if the client has a small cage, rib cage, it's okay because I have long arms and can adapt. But I do this because I have, so I press the internal yes, side toward the medial border of the scapula, yeah? The <coughs> lateral border, me, I do it here because it's exposed, okay? What, so, coming back to the, the question, uh, I choose those because, uh, again, I find it easy to work with because this protocol actually is a whole protocol that to me, it's best to do with the person in front because it's easier, yeah? And as I, I, go, I go back to uh, my, uh, I go back to what I say uh, one day, uh, in the complete version of the, of the chapter of the, the shoulder, you have different options. Uh, I explain because Sometimes we might choose to work in a sitting position, in a side position, in a front position. Uh, the only thing is in lower back, I prefer to skip everything that has to do with sitting, okay? To me, I prefer if the person has an issue with lower back, all the pressure or on the shoulders and that, I prefer to skip. Of course, there are the Shiva, Shakti, or the rotation, torsions are okay, or the flexion forward, back bending is okay, but again, I prefer if I have a half an hour to work in lower back, I put the person <coughs> either lying supine, prone, or side. You might try, uh, maybe in the future, I will have to see. Uh, that uh, sort of clarify the, no, sort of, yeah. <laughs> No, and I, I, I choose those in particular because when I uh, do exchanges with the colleagues, they find it uh, like a more powerful or more, uh, I mean, they, they like more those points, <laughs> okay? Of course, if you choose to do the whole protocol, it's the best way to go about it, uh, just to, to know this flow uh, presented by the, the protocol of uh, acupressure, Thai acupressure. Um, today, uh, yes, we're gonna do a lower back, but before that, I think we're gonna have some uh, fans.
So we are two, four, six, eight, nine. Perfect. Well, we, we said if she will go back on her team. So we will uh, regroup in, th in three. Mm -hmm. So choose uh, the third pillar. No, I want to join my team. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's okay. <laughs> May I, may I? For a newer body worker, as a, I know each of the points are related to, I don't want to call them symptoms, but they all have correlations to something else, right? Like one point might be attached to the bladder lines if we're talking meridians, or another point might be associated to a specific one less that. Mm -hmm. Maybe are attached to specific emotions. Yes. But your picture of the scapula has like 15 points. Yes. About right. So it seemed almost as if like maybe half of the, the scapula had a point on it. And I think it has even more. Mm -mm. Okay. Good. So is going based on the points as important as maybe just going for a feel for it and feeling where the blockages are and then working the point based on the feeling and knowing the like eight, nine, and 10 sequence working downward is important. But what that's associated to right now might be a little bit of information overload for, for me in my learning. I'm, I kind of go and I, uh, feel where the blockages are and say, okay, let me, in a way, like, let me find out how to work this. And learning, okay, let me pull the arm overhead to stretch to get to the lateral portion of the scapula. That's helpful, right? Oftentimes I'll try to pin it and push it in, but it makes more sense to have it above head. Yeah. And I like to kind of go around and find it, feel it, where I, uh... the tension is being held. I will excuse myself in the way that I'm gonna reply, okay, beforehand. And I wanna, I, 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 I will excuse myself because uh, I can't help it. Meaning that, uh, and don't take me wrong, that's the other thing. Sometimes that happens, yeah. So if, if, it, if that happens- You won't hurt my feelings, just no, speak, No, 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 it's, not, it's yeah. not that you hurt your feelings, it's that uh, it's an overall idea or this energetic field that happens. Uh, so I will uh, I will try to, to answer your question uh, by uh, giving you an, an, an analogy, okay? So the analogy will be, which are the four pillars of Thai massage? Meta. Meta. Touch. Rest yeah. and align. What? The hips. Yeah. The hips. Yeah. The rocking. And posture. Yeah. Sometimes when we uh, enumerate the four pillars, we say meta, postures, rocking, uh, yeah, and touch. So. If I uh, think of, of, of these uh, four pillars in order, again, we say meta. But to me, as the way that I presented to you, meta, posture, balance, uh, rocking, sorry, and touch, the difficulty goes up. We start saying, yeah, meta, oh, meta, love it, yeah. I, I have this, all this energy that I, I want to share with everybody and it's healing and I'm, you know, kick on, kick on, or I'm a Reiki master or, perfect. Some people are gifted. Some people are born with that. Not me. So I start by touch. Then I go to rocking. So know how my body relates to the dynamic I want to, you know, then 
I uh, see the posture that I have. Once I have my, my movement, I say, okay, I'm gonna go to Power Warrior, I'm gonna go to Divi Daya, I'm gonna open Daya, I'm gonna, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, I wanna stretch. Meta, I don't know. So, if in the way that I uh, present the material, you wanna include energy, you, you can. The energy is supposed to be there anyway. I know the person to address that because I don't feel capable of doing that. So I cannot reply to you in those terms. That is like a, you asking me in Chinese and I <laughs> reply in Thai. We may find a meeting point by sign. We will we will even think that is, 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 if it's a good energy, we can communicate. But that's very personal. You might think that I like you, maybe I don't like you, but that's the way that you take the information, yes? Yeah. So I prefer to leave all that for the, per the people gifted or the, per the, the person that really have a, a, a mastering this kind of technique. Not me, I'm just a simple massage therapist who try to explain what I do and uh, try to have fun with that, okay? Then, if a person, sometimes a person, uh, I treat a person and he say, oh, you're a magician, your hands are, and all I can say is, I try to do my best. That's all, it just, it just massage. You can put it in another level, in a healing, energetic uh, event that, uh, you know, bring up the best of you and the universe, the planets are aligned, and uh, that's perfect. I mean, I, 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 and you can say, yes, I feel your aura is orange, and, and, when, and now it's green, meaning that uh, it's in contact with uh, the trees. Okay. Perfect. I mean, me, I just humble and I say, I did the best. I mean, I, I try to, to help you in the best way I, I, I know. And what I do not know, that's the... I, I look at it as a much, much, much more simpler way than the aura. Okay. You know, the, I look at it as movement. Yeah. You know, Jen said to me yesterday in passing, like, Joe, you, because of my stiffness, like, you are mo like most of the clients that we see, so, like, we want to work on you. And that's also how I feel, right? So, like, the protocol, the, the detail of the posture is beautiful for a Thai massage therapist to think through, to work through, to finesse, to get it, to dance. Right? But in reality, for me, it's, well, this person can't lift their arm past here, so there's a blockage here. Yeah. Let me feel around and get it to loosen up and let me get it to move. Okay. And if I can send the energy their way, which I'm starting to learn a little bit about, fantastic. Yeah. I don't, I don't go, I don't, you know, I try to touch the body with mana. I try to work within the comfort level of the person that I'm working on. Right? Yeah. I don't want them to be jumping off the bed constantly you know of course if you go a little too hard you don't know but you want to bring them right kind of to that not to the edge but you want to bring them up into that area that they know they're being healed they know that they're being worked on but they're not resistant to it so to conclude I suppose my, my question was was how important is the protocol of like eight nine ten versus oh okay and this you know me you know upper medial portion of the scapula, there's some blockage. Let me start to kind of move the tissue around. Uh, I, all, again, I will give you an analogy. You go to a cooking class. The teacher say, we're gonna go, we're gonna do this pad thai, you know? So you take, uh, I don't know, garlic, you start cooking, you know? You take uh, one uh, spoon of oil, you put a, uh, 
uh, half a spoon of uh, the salt. Uh, well, okay, we go through the all ingredients, uh, you taste it at the end, you say, oh, this is wonderful. But uh, sometimes there are techniques, how to move, you know, the skillet, and, uh, and at, at what time to add some ingredients. But then you will say, but it's really necessary to put a uh, half spoon, maybe I can put a one quarter, or maybe I can put a whole spoon, or what's happened if I put uh, another kind of chili, and if I use another type of uh, noodles, yeah, why not? You have to think that uh, not in three hours, in 30 years, you may get a little idea of what's going on. Again, some people are gifted. They already bring this knowledge, this is natural. For example, uh, since uh, there are no newcomers, yesterday, just as a, to have fun, I danced a little with uh, Caroline, okay? So, I know that I'm not a good dancer. I mean, I know how, I have an idea how to guide the person and how to follow the music and how to enjoy the moment. But forget about me being a good dancer. I mean, my moves are, are not, I'm not a dancer. I would like to disagree well. on what you say. <laughs> <laughs> we saw you dancing. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, that's, that, that are different <laughs> levels. I mean, again, that, that happened, for example, in Asher March or whatever. Uh, you go to uh, a school, you never uh, practice uh, kara, uh, kara, uh, taekwondo, sorry. You never practice taekwondo. So you see this master that well, maybe has a diploma or has some picture with a a great master or in a competition or whatever, and he show you some stuff and you learn some stuff and you say, oh wow, yes, I'm getting better, I have my idea, I can uh, break a piece of wood or whatever, and I do my kata, and, uh, and you see your master and you say, oh, he's great. Then you start getting more deep into the thing. And then you go to another city, or you go to a bigger city, Oh, you go to the mountains and find a master. And then you realize that that's another level. That there is, and you say, oh. So it's good sometimes to convince yourself that you are developing something because it's the way that our brain functions. Because if we are not convinced, we don't have self-esteem, it goes the other way. But uh, the same happened again with this dancing. I, I see, I, I seen people, a good dancer, how they move and how they, they do the whole flow. And I say, wow, that really moves me. That's, that's another level. That's something that, again, I'm not gifted for that. Yes, I practice, I learn some moves. And again, I'm having fun. I'm not trying to teach a technique. With this, I try to teach a technique. So we just go for, I mean, you have to believe. Again, it's like when you go to a doctor, you sort of believe that he's gonna heal you. If you don't believe, and, and I read a book that would say that 50% of the healing happen when you just get into the doctor office. That's 50%, because your mind starts Sometimes you get to the doctor and I say, oh, yeah, a few days ago I had a pain. Now that I come, I'm, I feel better. Sometimes a, a, a problem, start, the, the body starts healing itself. So at one point, when you get to the doctor, sometimes in some countries like Canada, you have, some, you have to, uh, to wait like a, a, maybe a month to, to see the doctor. So in a month, the body might self-heal. So with this, all I'm saying is just put a little trust, meaning that if I say press in these three points or four points in the scapula, try to find them. It's also a way that you learn where the spine of the scapula is, where the medial border is. So it's, an either, it's another uh, feeling of just saying, okay, I'm moving and I feel that it's stuck. Okay, uh, this protocol 
uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, sometimes it's used for frozen shoulder. Of course, if you have frozen shoulder, you cannot move the, the arm as, you know. But that's why acupressure sometimes is good, because when you have restricted movement, uh, you don't have the chance to do all these nice uh, Thai stretchings, you know. And actually, what I uh, experienced being in Thailand receiving massages, there is not much stretching. I mean, as yoga type of stretching. That is what comes Thai is more, more towards. In, 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 in Lotus, we don't learn much about acupressure. We learn about marma points. We, we do pressure with our forearm, but no specific protocol of acupressure, yes? But I done, I say, hey, there is acupressure. Why not use it? Especially from my experience to work with the cancer patient. They, they sometimes, they, I mean, they're in pain 24-7 and, and, and they cannot move. If they move, they, they feel pain. So acupressure is very effective for that. So if you, if, if you ever have a person that for whatever reason, it's not very movable, you can apply some of the protocol, yeah? That's all, just try them. I mean, it's not like I'm saying, this is the way that you should treat, uh, four points and then you do this and then you do that, and no. I'm just saying, it's a proposal. It's what I sometimes, sometimes I like to do, yeah? So, so if I'm a client, I walk in, I have severe lower back pain, yeah. what would you do? So like I come in, I knock on your door, you know, I have... Yeah. Okay, like the, first, your, the, your, the first your thing is, is to see protocol. is, well, that's, a, that's the, the, the important thing that is assessment. So you might ask the person and you say, well, that is a chronic pain, that's happened because you lift the luggage, that's happened because you have baby, uh, you have a child, a uh, newborn, and you are all day uh, carrying your baby. Uh, that's it because you change your mattress, or you change your pillow, or you change profession, uh, or you're a truck driver, or, or you are a weight uh, lifting, uh, lifter, or whatever. Uh, and you went to a competition or a okay, campaign. So let's pretend or, I'm the client. I'm walking yeah. in. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, too much. Yeah. Oh. Well, again, uh, what I would say okay. is. Okay, copy. Why? Me. Yeah. What We're going to act it out, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would say, oh, what's happened uh, with your little I can't back? even sit. I cannot move. Okay. <laughs> so what I would ask her oh, again I, is. I, I, fell, that I is, fell down. Oh, okay. I was skiing and I fell down. Okay, so. Can you help me? Well, I might help, but my next question would be, did you go, went to the doctor and took an x-ray? Uh, yeah. And what is the result? Uh, he said I have like a slip disc. Okay, well. He said massage, like dental massage might help me. Dental massage mm -hmm. might help me. Okay. Can you help me? Yes, I, I think so. So what I want to do is during the, the treatment, first I will see if, in which posture she will be more comfortable. How should I sit? How should I sit? Yeah, so uh, I will ask her, can you lie on your belly? It's okay, or uh, you feel uh, discomfortable? Can you, uh, or think, would be better on the side? I think I'm better on my side. Okay, so, can I lay down? Sure. so lie on your side. So the pain is in, in, in both, in both the side of the... <laughs> Okay. So the, the thing is, the pain is in both sides. Uh, like it hurts when I bring my knee down. Can you like do something in my leg? On your leg. <laughs> well, sometimes what it might help if it's oh, better. Yeah. Is Thank you. Put <laughs> something bless like you. That. Bless you. Then the, the, the pain is localized, it's, it's in one spot, or it radiates to the leg, or it radiates up, or where you, where you feel it. It's a, it's a specific like it's point. really, like, it's hard to say, it's really like inside, it's like around right here somewhere. Okay. So, if, uh, sometimes when there, when there is a slip disc or whatever, or herniated disc, that's a very problematic situation because you have to be very careful. Sometimes what they say is that uh, when, if, if you have a herniated disc, especially, especially in lumbar, there are a few tests you can do. Uh, 
the test sometimes is uh, raising the leg or raising the leg and uh, the yoga later orientation to decide if it's a problem of, of a lower lumbar, if it's a yadic, but as, as she's saying, it's mostly lumbar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like I have shooting pain down here, mm -hmm. you know, it goes all the way. Yeah. About like right here. Okay, so sometimes when it's ready, it's a uh, to the sciatic, so we have to decide if it's a beach uh, nerve or uh, if the disc is whatever doing any kind of problem, or see if it's a piriform disc mm -hmm. problem. Yeah. Uh, again, when it's piriform, is I might think that it's most localized in this glute area and it radiates. If it's lumbar, of course, it will be. Here. So for, for this type of uh, treatment, I could uh, decide to start working a little on the leg. Uh, in, if I start, uh, she allows me to do that, meaning if I'm not causing more pain. Or I can start working directly on this area. So you would try to release the sciatic first? Yes, especially again, deciding if the, the, the pain is here or here, more here. So I will ask you. You feel it more in this area, like the upper iliac crest? Yeah, I'm more in this area. When you, when you move this area, I kind of feel like energy shooting up to my neck here. Also. Okay. So if she feels it in both sides, what I, I could start doing is uh, there is uh, the protocol of the acupressure protocol that has uh, the four points here. There are four points. Between L1 and L5? Mm -hmm. Between L1 and L5? Yeah. So, uh, but. You can lift my shirt if you want. No, it's okay. Well, yeah, so. so they see the number. Yeah. So we start with the iliac crest. Yeah, there is one around. Yeah. Do you need a marker? On the other hand, <laughs> on the other hand, on the other hand, I can start working just a little, you know, just moving the area. And in general also, if the pain is radiating, we know that we can work the whole line huh? going here. But again, first I will just rock a little, even at this little. And of course, if it's like that, I don't have my choice, of course, depending on, so I will have different supports, but, but she's lying down, it's okay. And I will start working the line. Of course, I will do it maybe slower. Trying to release this area. The other question would be, if it's, if, if it's more painful, if you bend, your leg or you extend your leg. I will try to work all this area. Sometimes I go skip. And from, from here, there are different protocols. Sometimes they use, they, they like to, to use elbow. Uh, that depends on how you like to position yourself. Sometimes we, we start just a, a slight, uh, a little pressure, not much. Area. And then, of course, we can mix techniques. We can try to, as we 
the other day, we can start loosening up a little directors. According to the acupressure protocols, uh, sometimes what they, they say is, well, you first do the protocol and then you do the Thai stretchings or Thai uh, postures. I don't know if that's the case uh, all the time. But again, me, I'm trying to loosen up. Sometimes I will try to get an interaction with the client, saying, uh, well, how does it feel? Uh, is, is the pressure is OK? Uh, it's more painful when I'm in this area, or, or, or it's painful, but it's a good kind of pain. So you feel that a little is helping to release the tension. And of course, since she mentioned, I will do it in house. She, she mentioned that she radiates all the way up. I will keep working. And when I go to this, Oh yeah, it's true, because when I yeah. fell on the ski slope, my arm went like this, and yeah. I kind of pulled this yeah. area here, so mm -hmm. it kind of hurts right now. Okay. <laughs> so again, I will try to loosen up a little the area, because of course, when we fell down, we stress, stress so we contract the muscle and the muscle needs, the brain needs to relate that, to, to start knowing that can let go without pain. So, when I, maybe also depending on, on my mood, but uh, sometimes I, well I did this a uh, little fast, but uh, I can use this principle of, of saying, okay, I will apply a little pressure and that's why see what happens. And that's using this the same principle of releasing to the curve of this. The other problem is uh, some people come and say, well, I have uh, 30 minutes, so what can I do in 30 minutes? No, I actually have two hours. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so the other way I could do that also is just, as kind of we did in, in, in Shiatsu. I mean, I never done Shiatsu before, I would see it, but this kind of, just very, almost it's a uh, kind, of, kind of superficial, you know, fascia kind of work. And all, also always trying to see if how her body reacts. Yeah. Sometimes I, I feel the breathing, that it's uh, getting like calmer and calmer. And, and I try to synchronize with that breathing. Sometimes what we also use is induced uh, breathing, that we try to get the client breathe at our pace. So you have to find your own formula for at that time. If the area is you know, too sore, I will Start doing a little percussions. Sometimes that helps to soften up a little also. And once I, I done with that, I will go to the four points. Yeah. So in order to do that, also I will try to, uh, to talk to the client and to see if the level of pressure is okay. Of course, at the beginning, I will introduce myself and just apply pressure. And at what point I say, okay, to me, that could be okay. 
para emular que es ok de presión so I will keep the pressure like that I will breathe I will keep it maybe 10 15 seconds and then I will move up like pressure When you push up like that, I feel pain here in the right. In the right. Side, like near my SI joint. Okay. And then when I uh, I do the, the points. Sometimes by protocol, they say that you could do it like 10 times and um, like 10, 15 seconds each time. I will, of course, try to, to see if I can start moving the person and if the, any release happens. So the way that I do it is one, is that what we know, like the, the arc. So we will really this, we know this, and start little by little working. And of course, always asking her how she feel the movement. Uh, like when my back arches that way, mm -hmm. it pinches. Okay. It pinches. So that's a good sign not to. But since I'm here, sometimes I can. <laughs> I can try to release the hamstring. Yeah? That feels really good. And of course, there are all these techniques that I, I think are mostly dynamic type. I mean, we, we don't do this a lot. That has to do with mobilizing this area. We can access this. We can start pulling, start rotating. We can work on this area. And and the pulling feels really good. Then, let's say if I want to, I feel that the person is start trust, trusting me and just uh, see how I can get her uh, feel a little more, let's say, movement in this area, I, I can just then place my hand in the area and this go to the abdomen and start working. Yeah, sometimes I pull I go one direction and doing this. Yeah. Not this, but this. Okay. When I do a back bend it kinda hurts. Okay. So I will go easier on that. And then I can even go higher and start. Yeah, it has a very nice knot here. That's for the next session. <laughs> and then I would place my hand and try to do the snake rocking motion. Do you generally ask permission to get into this posture? Because I would think that, in the, especially in the male-female orientation, there would be many women who are not comfortable with that. That's a very, very good question, which I never asked myself. Yeah. Meaning that, uh, just let me take a, a little uh, break uh, to, to reply to that. Uh, I was, uh, I think the other day I was talking uh, to Valerie about uh, the new uh, way that the Lotus, uh, because Lotus, the program didn't include all these sexuality uh, courses. 
sexuality uh, techniques, uh, techniques of uh, interview and uh, ethics or whatever. There, there are three courses, there are core courses now. That before, it was not like that. So the intention, I would say. Yeah. So one, I, I can place my hand and I can think nothing. Just like this. I just try to meditate. The other could, could be a healing intention, and the other could be a sexual intention. So the exercise is that I touch with uh, one of the three, and the other person will try to feel what my intention is. Yeah. Uh, for whatever reason, maybe because I started receiving massage at uh, early age, maybe at 12, and I always went to different, uh, let's say, yoga, or I went to uh, gyms where uh, I shared the shower with other men, no women, but men. So to me, the body, tap, the touch, and everything is very natural to me. And of course, if a, if a massage therapy is doing something to me that I think is not correct, I would feel uncomfortable. But it uh, never happened, never passed uh, through my mind that uh, it could be anything more than healing, okay? Uh, and, and I say this because fortunately, for that posture, at least she has clothing. But sometimes I do a similar stuff with the person naked, of course, the drag, it's a draping, yeah? But uh, that's even... So if I think about that, I would say, wow, this is crazy. I've never met this person. And he's half naked in front of me, and I'm touching uh, near a spot. But on the other hand, yesterday, uh, uh, Master Chen was working on your attraction, and he gets close to the hot spot. Yeah? So did he ask permission? I gave permission. Okay. I and said, he, anybody who wants to try yeah, can come in. Yeah, but again. I just, you know, I'm, I'm reflecting back to the posture you showed us the other day, where you stepped over the person's head, and I know yeah. that a few of the women said, I wouldn't do that. Well, could but, it don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, it, it was more of, you know, would you stop your flow? Like, uh, oftentimes, like, if I'm working on someone's abdomen, and I feel that it's going up closer to their chest, I'll say, do, do you want you know? Do you want me to kind of continue to work this, or or if you're uncomfortable, I'll move to a different position. That's again position posture. Uh, the thing is that the, what you just described it originates in you, not in the person. So if I have, a, for example, if I do this with her, and I say, oh. And let's say that she was a big breasted a woman. And I say, oh, my bone is almost touching her breast. So she is uncomfortable. Never think about it. Yeah, but there's two things. There's your intention. Yes. And there's also the recipient's yes. background. Yes. Uh, I understand. Maybe some feeling of comfort or discomfort uh, during your touch, which is purely healing. Yeah, your that's, that's why, why some woman don't want uh, male therapy, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. That's why. Yeah, but that's not necessarily the thing. Because I, I also have clients, and I'm a woman, and it's female clients, and they have like big traumas in the past, or little traumas, and yes. I ask them about, uh, so before we start in the introduction uh, conversation, yes. uh, I ask them, I, I tell them what I'm going to do, I tell them, uh, I tell them what I'm not going to touch, but I always address really clearly if something is uncomfortable or painful or, or if you yeah. feel like, hmm, I didn't expect this, tell me. And I will every now and then ask during the session and sometimes even go into the belly or I have I, people I, I agree. Who, who say, oh, no, I don't have any problems. And then I start at the feet and they go like, oh, no, but don't touch my feet. <laughs> I know? agree. So they, they don't think about these it's things it's unless a, it happens during the session. Is, a thing that uh, is part of the initial protocol, meaning that, uh, that I, I did in you today with, with Giselle, that you say if there is any area you don't want me to touch. Mm. Yeah? Sure. But, but still then, sometimes. Still then, sometimes. 
they discover that there are other areas that for different reasons. Maybe the person is ticklish, maybe uh, sure. never uh, receive um, a, a massage in, the, in that area. So, and that's why some clients might go back, go, go yeah, that continue with you, and others will uh, won't go back. No, with the client will say everything. That is true, so but I think that you should, as a, well, for me, I, I as a practitioner, would like to hold space for anything that the client needs or doesn't, well, I, within my boundaries, but, um, Again. You know, so I don't want to put my rules and regulations. I want to set. I want to set my boundaries, uh, and for the rest. Well, let me. I, I, I guess the same way I uh, replied to uh, to Joe. Mm -hmm. This is more like a philosophical almost question, meaning that have you received massage in uh, in Chiang Mai? Yeah. Did they ask you anything? Okay. But they, they did stuff with, which I did not like, and I told them, they were like, ah, 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 and they just I think that would be a good topic it. for a discussion yeah. Yeah. Um, at some point. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe I have some Saturday time. during the open because mic uh, sessions, or maybe on Sunday during the closing yeah. commentary. Yeah, yeah that's because, a very good because topic. Because what happened is that uh, for them, because of the culture, maybe, yeah, yeah. they don't care. I they mean, might even there was there was a girl there was, there was a girl that was yeah. working on me uh, something like that and she she did something like that. I said, what is that? In my backstory. I think between the two. My backstory. You answered. You answered kind of the best practice, right? Like you work through it in the beginning and you say, here's kind of what my plan is to do, given what you came in here. If there's anywhere that you feel uncomfortable, if there's any point that you feel uncomfortable with, please let me know. And then as you, let's say, maybe go into a, a position that's more vulnerable, you're yeah. feeling the body, you're feeling how the person is reacting to that, and then if yeah, you feel it's, it, it, right, like if you feel it's, it's important to check in and say, my, my question really was framed that, do you interrupt the flow of the, of the massage, the dance, to talk to the person, let's say if they're kind of in a drifting state, yeah, to step between their legs, they're safe. Can we no. time out? We're diverging. Yeah. Yeah. Let's well, get back to my back. <laughs> back to my what back, I, please. What I would propose, you know, Before what we forget propose, what we're doing. Uh, what I would propose is that we, we group in three. Yeah. We, we do group of three. I tried to oh, get you dead? Yes. You were dead? Okay. Yeah, yeah, because... Uh, You're yeah. here. No, no, okay. no, no, we can, but uh, the time went by, and uh, um, 